Google. That's the dreamer, the philosopher, the abstract thinker, the artist. If you're looking for stuff in that type of arena with that type of mentality, Google Photos image recognition capabilities may be something to take a look at. But Windows 10 is more of the data analyst, the reader, the accountant, or the lawyer. So if you're poring over scanned documents, you're looking through photographed images of labels and barcodes and ingredients lists, Windows 10. All right, all right. All right. So today we're going to do an image recognition shootout between two readily available image recognition capabilities for the average system owner. Now, these two readily available platforms are Google Photos and Windows 10 Photos. To utilize Windows 10 Photos, just put pictures or images into your pictures folder within Windows 10. And then you go to the programs list and open up the photos application. And from within that user interface, there's a search feature. And you can utilize that search feature to try and match keywords against images in the pictures folder. And to utilize the image recognition capabilities of Google Photos, you log into your Google account. And in the top right, you'll see the little cube with the nine little dots. And you click that cube and it'll drop down an applications list. And we're going to scroll down and try to find the colorful pinwheel that says photos. And when we click on that pinwheel, it's going to take us to the Google Photos user interface. And from that interface, we can see we get about 15 gigabytes of cloud storage included in the free Gmail Google account. And I think you can upgrade that. So if you have a huge project you're working on or you have a lot of images you're going to want to search, you can upgrade your Google storage. But 15 gigabytes is pretty impressive and it's good enough for what we're going to be doing here today. So we're going to upload the same images that we have in our Windows 10 Photos local pictures folder up into the Google Cloud. And then we're going to have identical batches of images on both platforms. And so the first thing we notice right off the bat is Windows 10 is local storage. Google Photos, cloud storage. Windows 10, local user interface. Google Photos, you have to log into your Google account and then you use the interface in the cloud on their servers. So you do have to be connected to the internet to utilize Google Photos. So one's local and one's in the cloud. How that's gonna play out for Windows 11 and future versions of Windows, that's a different story altogether because Windows seems to try to be getting everybody up in the clouds too. Cause everybody wants to be up in the clouds. But what if I wanna get out of the cloud? Well, you can't because we're too high up now. But how that's gonna translate for Windows 11 going forward, we're not looking at here today. We're just looking at Windows 10 and Google Photos. All right, so well, let's get down to it. What we did is we ran on 182 random keywords through both of these platforms against the same batch of images. And these keywords were not exactly keywords that were gonna be found in the images. They were just random. And we tried to make them challenging too. So we tried to use abstract keywords where you had to really think outside of that box to associate some of these keywords with some of these images for some of the keywords. So we didn't make it super easy on all of the keywords. So when we look at the chart of our results, we see Google Photos has a superior advantage when we're looking at matching keywords to objects within the images. Right from the start with image recognition where an image was returned with an object, Google found 40.11% that Windows 10 missed. By comparison, Windows 10 found 13.74% of 182 keyword searches that were not matched by the competitor Google. So we see Google found more unique opportunities for matches than Windows 10. Of those 182 keywords, that takes us to our next column. Google returned an image result 52.75% of the time of an object within the image. So the image returned is of an object. By comparison, Windows 10 returned a result of an object within an image 13.74% of the searches. So we can see that when it comes to 
associating keywords with objects within the images, Google is just far superior than Windows 10 in these results. And that takes us to our next category. We tried to separate our searches into two categories, matching keywords to objects and then matching keywords to text. Objects are, if we search for the word cat, the result is the image of a cat. That's an object match. If we search for the word door, it returns an image of a door. That's an object match. If we search for the word fridge, and it returns a picture of a kitchen with a refrigerator in it, that's an object match. Now we're going to go into text matches, and text matches are just what they sound like. If we search for the word fridge, it returns an image that contains the actual word fridge. Either a piece or the total keyword searched. And in those situations, we can see out of 182 keywords, random keywords, Google returned a text match 3.85% of those searches. So very little, very minimal number of results returned when it comes to text matches. But Windows 10 returned a search result 16.48% of the time out of those 182 keywords. So we see sort of a silver lining forming over Windows 10 here. It didn't do very hot when it was associating keywords with objects within images, but it seems to do better when it's associating keywords with the actual text within the image. But let's continue forward and sum up this image object recognition data with our final two columns here. In the green column, we see that out of those 182 keywords, approximately 43.42% of the time, Google didn't return any result. It just came back with nothing to find, nothing here. By comparison, Windows 10 didn't return a result 69.78% of the time. So that just goes back to that Google returned a result more often than Windows 10 on these random 182 keywords. And then the total matches, Google found an image result 56.59% of the time, where Windows 10 found a result 30.22% of the time out of those same 182 keywords. So this chart is showing us that Google does a much better job at identifying objects within images and then associating those with the keywords utilized in a search. But there is that pattern there where Windows 10 was starting to redeem itself a little bit by identifying more text matches. We're identifying the actual keywords and then recognizing the images that contain those actual words or a piece of those actual words. So we wanted to follow up on that a little bit. And there's a lot of different angles here. You could spend weeks trying to find different angles for data and document that data for differences between these two image recognition platforms. But we wanted to follow up on this text one because it looked like Windows 10 could have an advantage there even though Google blew them out of the water when it came to identifying objects within the images and associating those with keywords. So we did a follow-up search, same batch of images, but this time we did 89 total keywords and we chose keywords that we knew were present and visible within some of those images. So there's no reason to say at least one of those images doesn't contain one of these words because a human can see it. And we chose 89 keywords that humans could identify within these images. Some of them were a little blurry, but for the most part, they were clear and visible. So we take a look at that chart and we have Google to the left, Windows 10 to the right again. The columns are in a little bit different order, but let's go through them here real quick. The dark blue column. This is total matches. This is where matches returned were of text within the image. Google returned a positive text match 24.72% of the time. Some kind of result, any result. Out of those same 89 total keywords, Windows found a text match 75.28% of the time. So we see a 180 forming here. Everything's getting turned on its head because wait a minute, we thought Google was superior. 
Well, Google was when we were dealing with keywords, recognizing objects within the images. But when it comes to keywords, actually recognizing text within the image, we're seeing a different pattern emerge here. And that takes us to our next column, typeset style text. What we tried to do is separate the text into two different types of words, two different types of text. The first one is the orange column, typeset style text. This is text that's ready for print, text that's in your normal type of font, serif, sans serif. It's utilized for typing, printing, stuff you would see in a text document, on an ingredient label, on a barcode, for numbers, for data, for reading material. And out of those type of image matches, out of the 89 total keywords, Google returned a match 22.47% of the time for typeset style text images. By comparison, Windows returned a result a whopping 75.28% of the time for typeset style text images. Just comparing, did the search return any number of results? We can see that Windows more often than Google found a result that contains the specific text for which we searched, blowing Google out of the water. But things get a little bit different here when we're looking at words affixed to an object, words embedded on an object. We tried to separate the text, the words into two different categories. The first one, the typeset style text that we just looked at, and then this category, words on an object. These are words that are on an object in a non-traditional format, in a non-documentation format. This is stuff that would be engraved on a mortar block, spray painted on a wall, written in the clouds. It's still words, but it's not printed. It's not for in a document. It's more decorative on an object or informative. And in that case, we didn't have a large sample to follow up on it more, but it looked like Google was much more successful at recognizing words on an object, affixed to the object, which plays to its strength that we saw on the previous chart, that it was more successful at recognizing keywords in association with objects in the images. Windows didn't find any words on an object, and we only did about three or four keyword searches for words we knew were on an object within an image. Windows didn't pick up on any of those, and Google found about 75% of those. But in comparison to the total 89 keywords searched, it came out to about 2.25% of those overall 89 searches. Unique finds. So these are finds that are unique to the platform. The other platform didn't pick up on them. Google found 11.24% of 89 total keyword searches that Windows 10 failed to return a match for. But Windows 10 returned 61.8% of those keyword searches that were missed by its competitor, Google. So again, we see the trend continuing here with text that Windows is coming out on top. And that takes us into our next column that we're going to transition into here, the red column, and that's false positives. And really the only platform that seemed to have false positives was Google Photos. I think they had like nine false positives out of the overall 89 searches. Meaning that because we're looking for text only, text returns only, if it didn't find the actual text that we searched, it would sometimes return an image of an object. And sometimes that object didn't really directly associate with the keyword that we were searching. So about 10% of the time, Google had a false positive. Windows 10 didn't really seem to have any false positive results. It just, if it didn't see it or didn't know how to find it, it didn't return anything. So there's that angle that could be followed up on at a later date. And that takes us to our final column. No matches found. Out of the overall 89 total keyword searches, 75.28% of the time, Google found no result during those 89 searches. And then Windows, 24.72% of the time, didn't find any results during those 89 total keyword searches. So Windows is way ahead here when it comes to looking for text within the image. But keep in mind, we're not comparing who find all instances of the keywords within all of these images or could be associated with these keywords because some of that is subjective. Subject. Because meaning if we typed in fur, what are we considering fur? If we type in bedding, what are we considering bedding? 
So there's some stuff like that that makes it a little bit hard to say who found 100% of everything searched. So none of these results say that anyone found these percentages for all of the mentions or associations that could be had with these keywords. We're just saying if they returned any kind of result during these 89 searches that contained the actual text or could be associated with that keyword in some kind of realistic way, then it counted as a successful search. To sum it all up, Google, that's the dreamer the philosopher, the abstract thinker, the artist. If you're looking for stuff in that type of arena with that type of mentality, Google may be something to take a look at. Google Photos image recognition capabilities. But Windows 10 is more of the data analyst, the reader, the accountant or the lawyer. So if you're pouring over scanned documents, you're looking through photographed images of labels and barcodes and ingredients lists, Windows 10 might be something you're going to want to take a look at. Because in, in our results, much more successful at finding typeset style text in photographed or scanned document format, much more successful. So it's really going to come down to that. If you need to have a really low margin of error, throw it into both of them and see what the other one misses. Because neither one of these platforms is 100% accurate. As we saw, each one found something that the other one didn't. And then there were times when both of them missed something. And then there were other times when they did return results, but it wasn't all of the results. Or one platform returned two or three photos and the other one returned four or five photos. So we didn't count all of that. That's different data that would require a lot more inputting of that data to track all of that. But what we counted is, did it return a result out of the 89 total keywords on the text matches or out of the 182 keywords out of the object matches? And if it didn't, did the other one return a result during one of those searches? For right now, this could change as algorithms change, as things get updated, but if you're looking to match keywords to objects within images, check out Google Photos. But if you're looking for numbers or words in a documentation style format that's within an image, you're going to want to check out Windows 10 Photos. But this is where it goes a little sideways if the words are on an object. Like, for example, we had an image of that engine. And on that engine, it said Nissan, Twin Cam, 24 Valve. We did a search for all of those words that were engraved on that motor block. Now, this is not your normal textual style document. This is an unorthodox implementation of words on an object by engraving it on a motor block. In this case, could be spray painted on a wall, could be written in the clouds. But when we did a search for that motor block using the word Nissan, Google found that image. Windows 10 didn't. When we did a search for twin cam, neither one of them found the image. But when we did a search for 24 valve, Google again found the Nissan motor block image. Windows 10 didn't. But Windows 10 did return a result of an eagle because the eagle had a 24 in the file name. When we're talking about text in a document, text in your traditional printed format, Windows 10 is superior. But if it's words on an object, run it through Google Photos too, see if it picks up on it because Google Photos just seems to have better recognition capability when we're talking about objects within images. So, and it's more of a abstract calculation of a keyword comparison to an image or association with an object. Like we typed the word fur in, Google returned an image of a cat. Makes sense, cat has some fur on it. Windows 10 didn't return anything. Or if it was another word, if we search for cat, then Windows 10 may have returned a text document with the word cat in it, but Google would have returned an image of an object in that result. So they both returned a result, but one of them was text-based and the other one was object-based. If you wanted to single out just the word cat, so maybe if Windows 10 is picking up on the word cat because it's in the word category or it's in the word catch, you could put the word cat in quotation marks and then Windows 10 will just specifically search for the word cat and it won't bring back results for other words that contain the three letters C-A-T. 
advantages and disadvantages to both of these platforms. Check them out. Let us know which one you've had better success with on your system.